Dear Mr. President, my name is Edwin Matthews and I'm a fifth grader at Harris Elementary in Austin, Texas. I live in the east side of Austin. Some people might not like where I live, but I love my neighborhood. I love everything about it. I love the great restaurants, the nice people that look out for me every day, and most of all, I love my school, Harris Elementary. This is where I met my best friend, Jose Ramos. He has been my best friend for almost two years now. I still remember the first time we met. It was Monday in the school cafeteria. That day, I forgot my lunch money. And this kid that I never met before offered to share his lunch with me. Those had to be the best tacos in the whole east side. Ever since then, me and Jose has been the best of friends. Hey, yeah, when I found your homework. Hey, thanks, man. I am writing you this letter to make you a promise. I assure you, Mr. President, I keep my promises. You can ask my little brother Terry. He once wanted this stuffed dog for his birthday, but it was way too expensive. I promise him that if he did good in school, I'll get it for him for his birthday. I worked all summer long to save up for that dog. You should have seen my brother's face when I came home with it. He named it George, and he takes it everywhere we go. I remember when I was that age. Mr. President, I saw on the news how families are protesting because you want to send them back to Mexico, just because they was not born here. The other day, Jose came to school really scared because his parents told him that there was a chance that his dad can lose his job because he was an illegal immigrant from Mexico. I assure you, Mr. President, that there is nothing illegal about this family. As a matter of fact, they pray every time they have dinner. Sir, I think that you would like my friend Jose and his family if you only got to know them. You see, Jose's dad, he is one of the hardest workers I know. He had been like a dad to me since my dad died three years ago in the war. Mr. Ramos has watched after me, and Mrs. Ramos watched me when my mom had to work late. They really are an honest and caring family. Last year, Jose's sister turned 15, and all his family came together to throw her the best quinceanera ever. Jose said his dad had been saving for this day for a long time. We had the best times of our lives. I even learned how to dance a cumbia. If you could, sir, please come see for yourself. I know Mrs. Ramos would love to make you some of her famous tacos. Just one bite of her tacos, and I know you'll want them to stay. But if that don't work, I am here to make you a promise. I promise that if you keep my friend Jose and his family here in the United States, I will join the U.S. Army to defend my country, just like my father did. And if you knew my dad, sir, you would know that we keep our promises. Proud to be an American, Edwin Matt. Martinez, Guerrero, Matthews. Dear Edwin, hey buddy, hey, buddy it's, good it's good to hear, to hear that you're almost coming home. I can't, I can't believe it's been that long since we've graduated high school. My mom and dad ask about you all the time and they send you their love and prayers. Here's a picture of my son, his name is Edwin. I named him after you. When you get back home, my wife and I want to baptize him. Please take care of yourself. We'll see you soon, buddy. Jose. Let's catch up. Exactly.